Hey y'all, uh, this is Nate from NateDesignStuff.com. Welcome to our second tutorial. This tutorial is going to be about screen design. So when we talk about screen design, we're really talking about designing for the computer, uh, divi designing for the screen, um, some sort of media device. We're not talking about print, we're not talking about paper. That was covered in our last tutorial. Uh, sorry for the huge gap between the two tutorials. Um, that's totally my fault and it'll never happen again. Um, but welcome to the second of our tutorials. This tutorial is a full screen tutorial, so please do not take advantage of any sensitive information you might find by watching this at a slow speed. Um, I've tried to take everything away, but you never know. So let's get started. Um, here is this little <clears throat> screen that I've designed in Photoshop for you, just so you can get a better idea um, for what we're talking about. You have a visual, um, so while I talk, you're not completely lost. Like I already said, screen design, web design, what I'm talking about here is what a lot of people would typically use PowerPoint for. So um, if you are in the ministry or some sort of religious um, organization, or if you are a business person, you are inevitably familiar with PowerPoint because we use it for business presentations, um, Christians, uh, preachers use it for sermons. Um, everybody uses PowerPoint usually at some point in their life and it's pretty vital to a lot of people. Um, however, once you get into design, sometimes you move away from PowerPoint and you get into other things, um, although it still is a great tool. So screen and web design, like I already said, um, some of the presentation softwares utilize it. Um, all of these icons on the left side of the screen, these are all designed for the screen. They're all icons. Um, logos are generally designed uh, for the screen. They'll be printed out as well. Um, but there will be both screen and print versions for logos. Um, pretty much when you think of graphic design, most of it takes place on a screen. And then the big one, the big whammy, is web design. Obviously, that is my favorite. Um, so that's what we're talking about when we talk about screen design. Let me just bring up a window for you. I brought this window up last time. Um, and to bring up this window, we're just opening a new Photoshop document. You're going to hit Apple N. Okay, so Apple N on a Mac, and that would translate to, I believe, Control N <clears throat> on a PC. So um, that's what you want to hit to bring it up, or you can come up here to File, hit New right here at the top, and that'll bring up this box, this beautiful, beautiful box. Now we want to name our new document. Let's just name it Screen Design. Um, you don't need to set an extension, JPEG, or anything because that will be done later when you save it. So you just name it whatever you want to name it. They have a variety of presets. Um, here the web preset <coughs> automatically generates um, a document that would work for screen design. Here you've got 640 by 480, 800 by 600, 1024 by 768. A lot of screens are at this resolution here. Um, I know for my Mac, my screen resolution is much higher. Um, I'm running 626, uh, six, that's huge. I'm running 1680 by 1050 on my Mac. So if I want to design something full screen, let's say my background here, um, as you can see my background is right here, um, that was designed at 1680 by 1050. Um, but really any size here will work. For PowerPoint, um, the best thing to use for a presentation is usually this. You might want to do it bigger because you can always scale it down and you can't always blow it up because it'll get pixelated. So you might want to do it a little bigger than this, but this is a standard by uh, which PowerPoint operates, I believe, in some other programs. So um, <clears throat> there's your width and your height. Notice it's in pixels. Um, I think I wrote that here. Yeah, it's in pixels, not inches. Uh, when you're dealing with screen design, the computer screen isn't really concerned with how many inches you want to create because um, it measures things completely differently. So pixels is what we want to measure it in. And just so you get an idea for what pixels look like, I'll bring that back up in a second. Um, here are pixels. I didn't show you this in the last tutorial. Um, but these puppies right here, these squares, these are individual pixels. Um, so when you reference pixels, basically what will happen is... <clears throat> let me bring that back up. Um, here where it says resolution we have it set to 72 pixels an inch so as you can imagine if you increase this I know in print design we increase this to 300 pixels an inch what that does is it makes these little squares here 
um, it puts 300 of them within one square inch. Whereas for screen design, usually what we do is set it for 72 pixels per inch. So it's a lot less pixelated and um, it uses a lot less memory. A lot There's a lot less size to it because it's a lot um, more stretched out, you could say. It's not as condensed as print design. So um, let's go back up to our preset here. And like I said, notice we want 72 pixels per inch. Okay, we don't want 300 for screen design, we want 72. And then another big difference is for our color mode, we don't want it set to CMYK, we want it set to RGB because screens operate um, within the RGB framework. Um, so that's what you want that set to, and that will change the color tone, that will change how your uh, image is viewed on your monitor because basically, to keep it simple, uh, computers can't process. Most screens don't process CMYK, just RGB. So that's what we want. We hit OK and it pops up a new uh, screen and you're ready to begin designing for screen design. Um, so like I said, let's just go over the basics again. Um, screen and web design deals with logos, web design, graphic design, all, of the, all these icons, anything you see on your computer screen basically is what you're talking about with screen and web design or for the iPhone or for the iPod uh, that is also screen design, okay? That's not print. You want 72 PPI, pixels per inch or dots per inch, same thing. You want to uh, go pixels, not inches. Um, so when you set a size for your document, you're not going to say 8.5 by 11 for the screen because your screen is not measured in inches, it's measured in pixels. You want RGB, not CMYK. Um, you don't have to worry about bleeding. We talked about this in our last tutorial. Um, where if you do a print document, you have to worry about what the printer is going to cut off from the edge of your document, so you have to compensate for that and leave room for that. Not so with screen design, um, because it will not cut off the edges of your document um, in screen design. It's not like print. So you don't need to leave margins or room for bleeding. Um, and then some other programs you can use for it, utilized for screen design, is PowerPoint. And I believe P Publisher can also be utilized um, for screen design. So. I hope that helps, just the basics for setting up a screen design, and uh, I will see you guys on the flip.